Trying to get an adrenaline rush is insane. Adrenaline is like the feeling I get when I'm just like at my highest point. It's a hard one to describe, like you can't really describe, you just gotta feel it. Adrenaline can be fear, and if I wanna like go big on something, like let's say I'm going to surf some big waves, I need to use my fear as fuel. That inherently will give me enough adrenaline to do what I initially wanted to do. It's definitely a feeling that like can't be described, you just have to know it. Oh shit! What the hell? This thing, no, no, no way. Is this shit bone dry? Wow. No, 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 I'm gonna put oil on this thing, bro. Holy shit, oh my god, imagine we drove away with that, that's fucked. This thing burns oil like a motherfucker. Right now we're beginning our SoCal challenge where we're gonna go to the beach, then the mountains, and then the desert. I'm not surfing for like a couple weeks, it's gonna be abs. <laughs> oh, that's a sick ass sunrise. Mason Banks and I'm from Encinitas, California. What makes me different from other surfers? Nothing. I'm just like anyone else, but I just have goals. Whatever I want to do, I just want to make sure that surfing is like a part of my life in some sort of way. And some people may call that unrealistic, but I think like watching these YouTubers and like these other people like on Instagram and TikTok, they're making it happen, so why can't I? I got into surfing because like my dad like taught me how to surf when I was about three. I wasn't like super committed or anything, it was just like messing around. When I was about nine, I really started to get into it. I wanted to like compete and stuff and kind of like just going every day. My mom also helped a lot. She brought me down to like surf every day. It's just my life, man. It's what I look forward to every day. Even when the waves are bad, like I expect to surf. Even if I'm not excited about it, I just know like, okay, I'm gonna go surf tomorrow. What time am I gonna surf? What's the wind doing? What's the tide doing? I'm checking surf line. It's just part of my life. How's that? Yeah. Like, and everyone was like not being cool at all. But that's just swamis. The crowd is wild. Way more ways than I thought surf better than I thought I was gonna go. But that just gets me ready for snowboarding, which is gonna be lit. And that's the next part of the challenge. Really good. I used to wear 31s, but now I'm wearing the 30s. I definitely say size down because you want the neoprene to kind of cup your leg a little bit. Very solid. Definitely, like I said, got way more ways than I thought I was gonna get. 
sun came out, even though there's a ton of people, I was able to like kind of navigate the crowd a little bit. It wasn't too bad. I'd say after that crash, and like at pretty much while I was healing till even after I was fully healed, that was like the lowest point in my life. When I first started surfing again, I was I was about 185 and I was about 160 before I crashed. And even after that, it still affected me because when you gain a lot of weight, I don't know, I, I got really insecure. I was embarrassed about like the way I looked and I didn't want anyone to see it. The injury I had was a double compound fracture with a dislocated wrist. I saw my bone sticking out like three inches. I was airlifted to the hospital. People thought that I should have passed out after like seeing it, but I was too scared because I thought I might have had a concussion because it was like a dent in my helmet. After I got to the hospital, they did like a, like a brain scan and they said I was fine. So I was finally able to like kind of close my eyes. Did not fall asleep, but I got into surgery and that's basically how it went down. I was in the hospital for like four days after that. Dude, could you, you could put these put these in the bag quick? Oh, fuck. Get we, out of here, bro. we forgot to put the drifties in the bag. <laughs> dude, we gotta load up the car. We're running late. We surfed way too long. Yeah, dude. Go on, go, 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 go. Shut oh. that thing. Shut it, bro. <laughs> I did the like wimpiest shut ever. That was horrible. <laughs> Hopefully no one had to see that. Though. We gotta go, we gotta go to <laughs> Big Bear. No, nah, bro, gotta let the car warm up, wait. Give it like a minute, and then, <laughs> and then we can go. <laughs> I'm gonna let it idle out then. Oh, and this guy wants to spot. I won't be a dick, I'll let you, I'll let you have it. Whatever, I can back up the fuck I'm It's all right. I'm stressing right now, bro. I can't even drive. Wow, they just slammed, bro. Talk your horn. They need, nah, 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 nah. There's no one in front of them. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, first snow. Turn right Get out of here. Big Ron Mark. Yes, yes. Okay, we're on. You can easily do this SoCal challenge thing, but there's also like, you can't spend a ton of time everywhere, and we spent a little bit too much time surfing, so we need to like get on it. What? Bro, oh, wait, wait. No way, it's real. No, it didn't. Dude, 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 this is getting cool. We, it's almost one o'clock and we aren't even on the mountain. Why does it keep doing that stupid face? Fuck you. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. That was Ain't no way. Beginners. Kooks. Can't. Gotta love them. Just kidding. No, you don't. Bro. I hate them. I'm kind of a snowboard kook, though. No. You mm, be, be It's not 
loading. You just have to wait until I get good service again. I got SOS. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fuck. Keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> I'm looking steezy right now. Dude, you look like a full-on desert bum. Wait, what? Wait. My ears are ringing. I can't hear anything. I guarantee no one's done this out here before. All you see is dirt bike and like 4x4 four four tracks. But we're out here going to... Like, look, that's fresh tracks right there. That's fresh tracks. And we're going to go dune board that stuff. Like, that's insane. <laughs> you look so douchey right now with the glasses. Yeah? <laughs> I'm looking sexy, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't care what anyone says, I'm like, fly as fuck. Come on, let's go! We gotta make it, the sun's going down! That's beautiful, bro. If you asked me back then, I wouldn't say I was indestructible, but like, that was kind of like, the mindset, like, I'm indestructible, I can do anything. And like, I kind of gotta realize, like, that's not the case. Not to discourage myself, but that I'm not indestructible. I kind of like realize, like, hey, like, slow it down. But I'm like, wait, I love doing this stuff. I'm gonna try to do my best not to let that happen again. But obviously, that stuff isn't guaranteed, so I might as well enjoy like just every day of like being able to do all these fun things. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I shouldn't be doing it because I love to do it. So just like, why stop? <laughs> So, I can't see the car. Will says he knows where the car is. I'm colorblind, so it probably is just like I'm thinking it's a bush. I think the car's over there, but I'm not 100% sure. And it's kind of complete darkness in the middle of the desert. Uh huh. And on a Tuesday night, what are you doing on your Tuesday night? Seriously. I don't know, but not this. <laughs> 